All right, for those that are on the live feed, we've actually changed devices, so we're looking to make this work for you. And again, as somebody said, it'd be awesome to see you here in person. Uh, if you missed it, for those that are club members, we will have hats and beanies that'll be available at the next meeting. All right, coming up next on our list is who has been out wheeling and who wants to brag about where they've been? Okay, go ahead. We went to Utah this weekend and we went to play in San Polo and San Jose and Shoe. And we also did Rattlesnake and Portable Balls. And we followed it as far as possible in the river. Yeah. Nice. Hey, Rattlesnake? Yeah. yeah. Good fun. fun. How deep was the water? Yeah. It took it was, 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 <laughs> Joe, I saw you raise your hand. Yeah, so it was kind of funny. We went out to California and I wanted to ride a golf ball and roll down. Oh, yeah. So we ran down a hole and then the end of the game fell down and then we fell backwards. So it was a lot easier. So we got to go back out and do it the right way. The Big Bird Trails are always fun. Anybody else been out? Okay. Friday night, uh, Aaron, Shannon, Mark, and his wife April and I went up to uh, Logandale like a bunch of fools and we camped out at Logandale. Nice. Oh my gosh. It was so hot, I just stayed in the cot. I slept right outside my Jeep on a cot. I didn't even screw the tent. It was too hot. And then, uh, But it was fun. It wasn't too bad once it cooled down. And then Saturday morning, we went and ran Matterhorn. But let me tell you, <laughs> the trails look totally different after last week's flooding up there. I was like, this doesn't look like it did last time. Some of the obstacles were more washed out. Like uh, if you're doing Matterhorn, you got to do that U-turn and come back up and go to that one obstacle. Uh, that was a little washed out. Um, a couple others, there was a picnic table that was about that much buried in sand. So, uh, yeah, it was fun, but we did that and then uh, played at the reservoir. Um, and uh, <laughs> and then we went to watch the fireworks and watch Kevin get an award for the, uh, on behalf of our uh, group up at uh, Moapa at the fairgrounds. Okay. So that's what we did this week. They didn't cancel that, or did they? No, they didn't. Oh, it was on. It was a pretty nice show. Yeah. They had a band out there, Class Rock, Legends of Rock. They are pretty good if you like classic rock. Had fireworks and then it was a good time. Yeah, well, yeah. thank you. Anybody else? All right, so with talking about Fourth of July, and I noticed that Aaron has his Moapa 2021 um, Fourth of July. With all the rain that they received, the Cloud County Parks and Recreation team and the fire department was able to put the fairgrounds back together in two days to be able to make sure that they could have the fireworks and the event that they had planned. So kudos to the Moapa Valley Fire Districts and the Clark County Parks and Recs for getting all that done. Vegas Valley Four Wheelers was recognized by the Moapa Valley as, uh, I can't think the exact words they used, but in recognition for all that we do for that community for the 13 years that we've called that our home in our backyard. So we have a plaque coming that we'll be able to mount on, and I think the best place to put it is right on the outside of the merch trailer so that everybody who comes off the bump will be able to see it. But that was, it was awesome to be up there. It was a great night. Uh, sitting on the grass at the fairgrounds with probably a thousand other people it was awesome to watch the fireworks display that went on in that hometown, small community um, Everybody knows your name. Everybody knows your name. 
hangar yeah. kind of style, but that was really cool. Um, and it's also neat to be recognized for people for, in the community for an organization that such that we are that continues to give back to that community. So that that was really neat. So, anybody else been out? Um, and since I said the word hump and bump. We are just at about 180 days out from the event. And today I sat with the BLM rec planner and submitted our second year of our five-year permit to them for approval for our, this year's event. Having a permit in place for what we got last year for five years makes the process easier. So we are on like Donkey Kong. Awesome. Yeah. We only have 30? Yeah, I think uh, so. So with that, um, Scott, who's not here tonight, is our trail boss. Scott definitely needs help filling the 40 launches that we have this year on trails. So for our 40th year, <laughs> there will be 40 launches. Wow. New trails have you come up with anything else? We, we have, have some of the table, man. Sorry. Uh, asked about new trails. We have new for this year, uh, Rockin' the Narrows. And there's been a small group that has been out there with us twice now. And it is a 3-4 rated trail that takes you on a scenic look of rock bottom takes you over so that you get a scenic look of the shutter and then takes you down through the canyon and out through the narrows uh, which is a wonderful wash with 40 50 foot high walls along a good portion of it up onto the section that you see from Moapa Valley Boulevard looking towards the trails because you're coming in from the muddy river back onto the access road. So that's new for this year. Um, we do have the 10 rated buggy trail <laughs> called Jester because you gotta be kidding me if you're gonna run it. Um, and it is definitely a solid 10. And we do have uh, a Mormon Mesa run that has been submitted. For those that have been out there before, we call it Otto's Revenge. For the LVMPD officer that's out there, Otto, um, that is going to be an iffy trail due to all of the restrictions that are currently up on the Mesa. We have two ladies runs this year. On Friday, we'll the ladies, and you must be a female in the driver's seat. And you can't be the co-pilot. You have to be the female behind the wheel, wheel in the rig. They will be running rock bottom on Friday. And then Saturday, the ladies will be running shutter. So get for ladies, buckle up, put your helmets on and get ready to wheel. That are ready for it. Uh, we are also looking for the first time of uh, running a Thursday night run. For those that want to get away from the Thursday night antics and camp. So as it stands right now, 40 trails over our two days. So Scott, like I said, Scott, for those that want to get involved, and lead trails, you're going to want to get with Scott and get on the list to go. The only thing I ask is the guy that, uh, from the chairman of running the event is if you want to volunteer for trails that you commit to two days to make it easier for us. You do not have to run the same trail two days in a row. You can't switch off and do two different trails, but we are asking, I'm asking, that you commit to two full days. Yeah. We definitely will need help in merch sales, registration, dinner, 
Uh, we will need help on Thursday morning for our primary setup. We'll need help the weekend before doing the full shutter uh, layout where we uh, flag off and put all the stakes in to make Bureau of Land Management happy. And that'll probably be Saturday or Sunday this year. And then on Saturday, the week before, we'll need uh, volunteers to run up to haul all of the firewood and all the uh, raffle prizes up like we did last, last year to get all that stuff stored. We will probably start free running September. Get scheduled together. All club members are welcome to wheel on the pre-runs. Pre-runs are not going to be available to the public this year. It'll be members only. Yes? When will we have the official sign-up roster for the trail? It's available now. Okay. So, I, I, fortunately, Scott's not here tonight. But yeah, if you yeah. reach out to Scott and let him know what you want to wheel, you can get on it, on that list. We will make the uh, actual sheet live on the website <laughs> um, next month when we start turning some of that information on for the event. All right. We're going to run a very similar timeline as to the 2020 event. Camp will open up on Thursday at noon for people that want to get in and start setting up. Uh, as I said, there will probably be, be a night run, of a, an actual sanctioned right not, r night run on Thursday night. We'll have campfire Thursday night. Fridays will be run. Friday night will be karaoke night again. Um, we're looking, I'm always looking for sponsors for stuff, so I'm looking for a sponsor for the karaoke event. Uh, Saturday we'll have the runs again in the morning starting at 8 a.m. And then dinner will be approximately at 6. Trailhouse Smokers is our caterer of choice and will be serving us once again this year. And breakdown camp for on Sunday morning. What is new this year is we are going to open up the northeast corner of the fairgrounds as a boondocking area for anybody coming in with an RV that does not want to sit in line, that does not need water or power for a hookup. There'll be a discounted rate for that particular area. You'll be able to pull in, pull back into that section and set up your own camp. It is only for travel trailers and RVs no tents in that back corner. We're gonna, all the tents will need to go in the grassy area as they have in the past. Because we list, I listened to what I heard last year about the long line of getting in for RVs. So I'm gonna make it a little bit easier for those that are self-sufficient and want to do something that don't need water or power. But that's uh, kind of where we're at with that. This is our 40th year, so we're, we're excited to be able to make that happen. Um, special flag. 40th anniversary flags. Special everything. Um, any questions about Hump and Bump? Sorry, what were the dates? Hump and Bump, will, camp will open up on October 27th. We will wheel the 28th. No, I'm no, sorry. Open the 28th, right? We will open up the 28th. We will wheel the 29th and 30th. And then camp will close on the 31st in the morning. So that'll give everybody the opportunity to get back into the valley and home so that you can enjoy the trick or treaters. I'm thinking we might do some trick or treating on Thursday night for the community again like we did a couple years ago when we fell on Halloween. Registration and all that will go live the first week of September.
Any other questions? No. The, the day after yeah, day after second week, second week, day after Labor Day, everything goes live. Um, let, next up, land use. Uh, if you've heard before, they are finally moving forward on the paving project within the Logiedale Trail System. It will not affect the trails in 2021. It'll happen some, they'll actually start working and doing the project in 2022. This has been four years coming and that will pave and widen the road from the railroad tracks all the way to the main bathroom, the main trailhead. To the hill that everybody, the nightmare hill with all the potholes will not be touched by NDOT or Clark County. That's BLM land. That's a whole other issue and project that maybe we can get somebody to talk about. Uh, other than that, the only thing else I can say about land use is please remember to respect the trails, know where you're going, know where you're supposed to be, and stay out of the areas we are not supposed to go. All right. I checked my boxes for the most part. See, before we get to the raffle, who's got ship, uh, stuff for sale? <laughs> I know David's not here, but he has a JL snorkel kit for sale. I don't think he's ever going to sell it because nobody wants it. But everybody, yeah, so David, if you're watching at home, we're still attempting to sell your JL snorkel for you. Anybody, what do you got, Jenna? That motor I wanted the last time I bought? Which one? The right. 2019 right. motor or the 2020 motor? The 2020. The 2019 is already in the budget. Okay, the 2020 LT is for sale? Take an offer. Okay. Two bucks. So there is a four hundred. I can beat the other 100. There is an LT motor for sale that was won at the 2020 raffle. So if you're interested in that, make an offer to Jenna. And I might have a full set of five brand new, never used 37s because my husband is having problems with the right idea to try and put 37s in there. So I might have a full set of five brand new, never used 37s because my husband is having problems with the right idea to try and put 37s in there. So 37 by 17? Yep. 37, Rips 17. Included. I have to apologize. They've already been painted in with the silver nymphs, right? Like, I need. So there's a set of 37s by 17s, five up for sale. See, Jenna? Okay, Dean, what do you got? I still have a 14 uh, JKU hood, uh, Anvil for sale. Anybody else got anything for sale? Wally? I've got uh, five 37 inch oil in the 37, 14, 50, 15. Okay. All the, they're basic. Four of them have like 500 miles on the other one for at least. How much? Uh, okay. So 37 by 15s. Yeah. And I've got uh, 35. By 1250, 17, uh, DFW Japan, brand new. You got one? Just one. Just one? 3717. Yeah, 1250. All right, okay. Anything else? Anybody else got anything for sale? All right. A super chip flash cow for a JL. 150 bucks. Okay. Is anybody looking for something in particular that they want to put out there to the universe? Besides a million dollars. I just want two inches of 20s. I'm good with that. I need a set of 40 inch roller. Set of 40 inch roller tires is being looked for. 17s. 
Because remember, I said I was looking for a trailer in the next meeting. Somebody says I got one. Anything? Huh? Automatic transmission for a TJ early? 98. 98. That would be a Scott or a... A Scott or a... Uh, Kyle would be good on that one because I know they're both doing it. They're still, we're still looking. They're still looking, okay. Because I know they're changing their stuff out. Anything else? All right. On to tonight's... What do you want to do first, door prize or raffle? Yes, door prize. Door prize it is. <laughs> Did everybody get a door prize ticket? Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. You want to reach in and grab one? So the winner of the door prize is five two one six five zero. Terry. So you got to come over and check and see which size helmet fits you. <laughs> Yeah. Really good. All right. And I want to put a shout out to Axel Off Road for sending us these helmets so everybody can get involved in wearing a Brayden bucket. Make life easier on you. Definitely need to wear that when you throw Yeah. All right. On to tonight's raffle prize. Is so there anybody who wants last minute raffle prizes? Wants to jump in on this? Okay. So for the radio, where's that bucket? Now this radio is unprogrammed, so once you get it installed, you reach out to me, I can make sure that you get the five club frequencies uploaded to your radio. And tonight's winner is 255 four, two, what? One. Winner! Four. Winner! Wow. He just needs supervision. Squirrel, squirrel, and make sure Jim puts his helmet on. All right, he'll yeah. have it. Just yeah, I, you'll I, I, notice. I've before. He's got a great jeep uh, that can do it, do whatever. Uh, but yeah, but uh, you so, know, if anyone wants to come with, uh, they're welcome to come with. I'm assuming we'll probably collect other people up there. I had other people in the group that uh, have all not turned out to not be able to come. Okay. So uh, the only one left is him. And You're more than welcome to post it on the members only page yeah, of your dates it. and okay. see if anybody else wants to jump in on it. Okay. Yeah. Thank all right. You. Thanks. Um, I did talk about upcoming runs if anybody wants to get out. I know it's hot. Um, 
I'm going to say right now there's probably just a few people that are getting out, mostly those with tops and doors and air conditioning. So uh, if you all, if, again, if you want to get out and wheel, message Scott. Message me, call me, call Scott, text us and say, can we get something together and we can see if we can put some people, like-minded people get out and wheel. I'm going to take this week off and probably the next, and I'll plan after our next meeting, hopefully be able to get some people out to do another night run and pick a place we haven't been in a bit, or go back out and beat on some rocks and have a dip banging good time. <laughs> Anything else? We have covered everything. Our next meeting is should be the 21st of July, 6.30 back here. Please remember to take care of Donna because she takes care of us. And thanks, everybody, for coming out. Thanks, everybody, for being online. And we'll see you.